Today I'm super excited because I finally got my hands on the Anencase UBC Photon Mono 4 Dan Ken K Resin 3D printer and in this video I'm gonna unbox it, set it up and share my first impressions with you. So let's start from the beginning. I ordered this from Amazon for around rupees 19,000 and honestly the packaging was really well done. It came in a strong cardboard box with color print on it and then everything inside was safely packed. No damage at all during delivery so that's a big thumbs. Now inside the box you get quite a lot of stuff. Apart from the printer itself you'll find the printing bed, the resin tray now, I don't know the exact technical name but it's where we pour the resin. So I'll just call it the tray and a pair of gloves and a small tool kit and power cable and a USB pen drive and some screws and a microfiber cloth for cleaning and yeah they also included the paper for leveling, a few stickers and a manual to help you set everything up. So let me walk you through the setup part because I know a lot of beginners might get confused here. The printer comes almost fully assembled, which is great, but you do have to set up a few things manually. First thing, peel off all the protective stickers. You'll see them on the screen. And the tray and the print bed, just take them off gently. Next, attach the print bed. It goes right on top and you'll need to screw it in securely. After that, peel the sticker off the tray, uh, clean it using the included fiber cloth and stick the anti-resin sheet properly. This sticker has two layers, so be extra careful while peeling it, honestly. I love that they included all these small things, even the cloth for cleaning it shows they really thought about user experience. Now one thing I didn't include the bed leveling process in this video, because that part needs a bit more explanation. I'll make a separate video for that where I'll show you exactly how to level the bed step by step and make sure your first print goes perfectly. Uh, speaking of prints, I already tried printing a few figures and man, the results are amazing. The Tenon K screen makes a big difference. You get sharp details, clean lines, and the surface looks super smooth thanks to the lightable system. Even the exposure time is just 1.5 seconds per layer, which makes it pretty fast for a resin printer in this price range. The volume is also quite good, 50 t coin, 4 mm by 8 cm mm. That's plenty of space for most minus models and parts. And yes, it has this power failure protection feature, so if your electricity goes off, it'll resume printing right where it left off. No wasted resin, no stress. After printing, I also tried painting one of the figures, and it turned out beautifully. I've included some videos and images in this video so you can see the print quality for yourself. If you're someone who's new to resin printing or even upgrading from an older machine, this is definitely worth it. The setup is easy, the print quality is fantastic and the price is actually decent for a 10k printer. So yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. If, if you're planning to buy one or you've already got one and need help setting it up, subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting more videos on bed leveling, slicer settings uh, and test prints very soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and drop a comment below if you have any questions. See you in the next video.